You are now watching Google TV. Hey guys, it's Moogalore here and I'm back again with another Smash Brothers Ultimate discussion video. Now I know it's been quite some time since I actually discussed Smash Brothers Ultimate on my YouTube channel and so much information has pretty much been revealed so far and I have yet to talk about it on my YouTube channel. So I figure what I'm going to do is in some time in the near future I'm going to compile what's been uh, officially announced and what's been rumored to be coming to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate all into one video um, coming soon. But for right now, I just want to focus on one particular rumor that really has my, my interest, and that's from our boy Virga Ben. If you don't know who Virga Ben is, Virga Ben is pretty much the guy who has been, I guess you could say, leaking like details and information on highly anticipated games that everyone in the community is looking forward to. And you know, he may be off his mark sometimes or whatever, but he always for the most part, he's been pretty correct on on more on most things. So um, he came back out with some more details. Now this information has been revealed about three weeks ago. So some people had covered it on their channel, and I decided I wanted to cover it with you guys to hear what your thoughts are, and I just want to give and voice my opinion of what this could mean uh, for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now it looks like our boy Virga Ben had just officially uh, stated that Square Enix will be getting a second rep for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So this really had me thinking, I was really focusing on this. Now, to most people, the obvious choice would most likely be Geno, since he's been pretty much on fans' radar since Super Smash Bros. Brawl. But I don't really want to stop there. You know, I want us to stop and look at what other potential characters from Screen Enix that could be represented in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. But before we get into that, I just want to let you know that I'm listing these characters from most possible to least possible uh, to make it into either the base roster or just as future DLC. So for starters, we will talk about the, the most likely choice from Screen Enix, which is Geno himself. Now, I believe the chances of seeing him uh, make it into this game is extremely high. I mean, he's been highly requested since Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and he, of course, ranked pretty high on the Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS DLC ballot. And, of course, in a recent blog from Sakurai himself, he stated that his development team are certainly factoring in the character selection based on the Smash ballot from the Wii U and 3DS um, entry of Super Smash Bros. So we definitely need to take that un under consideration uh, when it comes to these character choices. So... What we do know for sure is that characters that were recently announced, such as Ridley, King K. Rule, were certainly high on the ballot, and Geno has definitely boosted up a bit since then. And there are other theories that some characters who were once me costumes are now characters. So Sakurai also stated that he finds Geno as a, to be an interesting character, so he decided to make him into a me costume instead. Because let's be honest here, there's no way that Geno was going to over, is going to pretty much be a top priority over a Final Fantasy representative such as Cloud Strife himself. Final Fantasy has way high, way, way, way much more priority over Geno himself. So I can see why he made him a costume and he put Cloud Strife in as in, instead. But let's also most importantly look at some of the themes that Sakurai has been clearly trying to stress to us with this game. The theme is everyone is here. And I don't just believe that he just means that every character from past Smash titles to make it into the game, but I also believe that he also is trying to stress that everyone that fans have pretty much requested throughout the years of each Smash Bros. entry can see a possible uh, release or a possible inclusion into the Smash roster. So Gino at this point has to be in the game or at least eventually come in as DLC. That's, that's where my bets are at. Now, let's get into the next character that could be a second rep for Square Enix and Smash Ultimate. Now, this one could be a bit controversial and maybe a bit disappointing to some. Now, this character would, would be a logical choice since the character already exists in the roster. Let's just stop for a minute and just think, what if Zack Fair is an Echo Fighter for Cloud Strife? Now, I mean, I would be salty if this happens to be a reality, but it's definitely not too far-fetched or is not, it's definitely not too far from it not being a possibility. We already have Simon Belmont and Richter Belmont, and if the rumors are true, then we, we could definitely possibly see Kim Masters as an Echo Fighter for Ryu pretty soon. And these are all third-party characters. Now, even though Sakurai states that it's, it still takes time to develop an Echo Fighter, but it still utilizes existing resources to help speed up development of these fighters to be included in the roster. So I can definitely, definitely see uh, Zach Fair 
making it into this game and being a possibility as an echo fighter for cloud so all i'm saying is lower your expectations and remain open to the possibility of this being the worst case scenario now okay we're going to move on okay so i really thought about this for quite a bit and i never thought how significant this franchise is to square enix and nintendo and that's bravely default now hear me out on this one i know there was a false leak of agnes being play a playable fighter for smash Bros. ultimate but that possibility isn't too far-fetched in terms of selecting from a pool of square enix characters in this game bravely default has been quite successful on, on the nintendo 3ds and the exact same team has recently released octopath traveler which is another highly acclaimed title for the nintendo switch there's also been rumors of a Bravely Default remaster collection for the Nintendo Switch as well. So seeing Agnes making it into Smash Ultimate could very well become a possibility. So the fourth character that could possibly be in this game could very well be Neku from The World Ends With You. Let's think about it for a minute. The game has a remix version exclusive to Nintendo Switch and the franchise itself has quite a following. Maybe Square Enix themselves may have some future titles in the works for the series and would like to have the characters be promoted through Smash Ultimate in preparation for these titles. Who knows? Even though I've never played the original game, I can definitely see Neku as a fighter in Super Smash Brothers. I think he would fit uh, quite well into the roster or maybe even DLC in the near future. So that's pretty much my take on that character. But we wanna get on to the fifth character. Now, the fifth character is obvious, but looking to be one of the least likely because of some of the hurdles that Square Enix and Nintendo will have to go through to make this happen. Now, this character that I'm referring to is Sora from Kingdom Hearts. The only reason why I rank him this low is because Sora is a shared character between Disney and Square Enix. Now, Kingdom Hearts has been on Nintendo handhelds for quite some time, and many fans recognize that Sora would be a perfect candidate for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. He has the look and would have an interesting moveset to add him to the roster as well. If it wasn't for Disney, I would rank him much higher next to Geno in terms of high chances of being in Smash Ultimate, but I don't just think it's going to happen because for the simple fact of Disney. I think Disney is that roadblock. I'll be really surprised though if Sora gets in as DLC at the very least. But last but not least, this character is one of my favorite screen as characters of all times. I rank this character at the very bottom of becoming a possibility to get into the roster and I, this is just my opinion you know i like this character so much but i don't just see that this character will possibly make it in and out of all the characters i mentioned to, to be in the list of screenish representatives to be in smash Bros. ultimate i really really favored this character the most out of all of them and i would love to rank him high but i just don't see this happening so this character i'm referring to is chrono from chrono trigger now it would make perfect sense to add him to smash ultimate because chrono trigger was one of the many rpgs that catapulted nintendo as one of the most recommended consoles because of its high quality library of jrpgs if you go to any gaming youtuber who makes videos of their favorite rpgs of all time i can almost arguably guarantee you that chrono trigger is most likely to be on that list among some of the top rpgs of most of these gaming youtubers now, if he was added to um, to this game, I can imagine how incredibly awesome the game soundtrack would be. Like the soundtrack is already hot, it's already awesome, it's already it's already something epic. But uh, to me, if you add Chrono Trigger in there and add its amazing library of music, I believe it goes to legendary status, in my opinion. Now, his final smash could also include the entire party ganging up on your opponent, something similar to uh, Chrono Super and Car Cycle Wars, I think that'd be pretty awesome. And then as far as stages is concerned, we can have the Zenin Bridge, which could be a stage, or how about Zeal or Magus Castle? And maybe Lavos could definitely work as a boss, or you could fight inside the body of Lavos. I think that'd be pretty awesome. But as much as I want to as much as I want to see Chrono in the game, he has to be the least likely of them all to be included into the roster or DLC as far as this list goes. So we have Gino ranked at number one as most likely, and followed by Zack Fair, Agnes, Neku, Sora, and of course Chrono Trigger as the least likely character to make it in Smash Ultimate. Now I want to hear your thoughts on uh, my screenish rep selection. Who else would you add to the list of possible screenish reps for Smash Ultimate? And how likely any of these characters I mentioned are possible to make it into the game? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more Super Smash Bros. Ultimate content. This is Mugen Lord signing off. See you game fiends later. Peace out.